Hi there, my name is Unical D and I'm a collage artist and a member of Illustrators Ireland. Welcome to this workshop. In this workshop, I'm going to show you how to make birds. Quirky birds, birds full of character, collage birds like these guys here. This workshop is part of the exhibition Exquisite Confinement Courts for Cornelia you know. We at Illustrators Ireland hold a yearly exhibition to showcase the amazing talents of our members. For 2020 to 2021, we have teamed up with a group of illustrators from France to create a giant, exquisite confinement corpse. It is not as scary as it sounds. An exquisite corpse is a wonderful way to collaborate with different artists on a single project. So the giant, exquisite confinement corpse will be created by a bunch of illustrators and artists in France and in Ireland, and we need your help. We need you to create elements which we will use in the background of the exquisite corpse. We are looking for elements which are inspired by nature and which you find in the garden. So plants, leaves, flowers, birds, insects, mushrooms, snails, use your imagination. Anything that inspires you, that is what you will be making. Then your artwork will be sent to us and it will be part of the giant exquisite confinement corpse exhibition when museums and art galleries reopen. Now, back to the quirky birds. You will need the following materials. White paper, about A6 size, and A6 is a quarter of A4, a selection of magazines, scissors, and finally, glue. So here we are in the studio. Um, I've got the scissors. As I mentioned before, I use an X-Acto knife. We've got a glue, which we'll use later. And we have our A4 sheet of paper, which transforms into four A6 pieces. So you can see what we do is we just cut the A4 in half, and then we cut it in half again, and you have four A6s. So we'll leave them over here. And the first thing I do is I make some sketches. Here's some example sketches which I have done. Have fun with your sketches and just let your imagination go. You can see here that I'm going for interesting shapes that will trans translate well into the collage. And if you can see that the collages that I've already done, if I show you this one as an example, here's one that I did earlier, and that is taken from that shape. This bird here is taken from that shape there. So you can see how a translation from a drawing into a collage. So the one we're going to do is this one. Okay, so what I do first is I get a sheet of ordinary white foil paper and I make an outline. So it's fairly easy to see that pencil mark under there. So I'm just going to trace it onto my white sheet of paper. So it's just the shape that I want for the minute. So then I have my shape and what I do as I said, um, when you're using your scissors, make sure you ask a responsible adult to help you if you need help. And I'm going to use my X-Acto knife because that is what I'm used to using. So what I do is I cut out this shape. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating a little window, as it were. And then I get the magazines and I start looking for interesting colours and textures. So it's very, the interesting thing is to try and find a color or a texture that somehow matches the shape. Now, what I mean by that is, for example, you might get a shadow that might indicate a wing, or you might get a line or a shadow that indicates the neckline. I'm looking for a texture that might work. Yes, I liked, okay, this one I kind of liked. So again, I take and I start moving it around and go, what looks interesting? No, I'm not feeling that. You see, that's that would just look like a flat grey area, nothing interesting there. So we try and we turn around 
and we go and immediately I see oh there's an interesting line perhaps I could use that somehow so I'm looking at hair could I incorporate the hair across the head as well there's a lot of moving around to be done it's quite subtle but I'm liking I think there is something here now it's beginning I think to fall into place because it's this curvy line here that I find interesting which creates a kind of neckline if that makes sense and then the bit of hair here is interesting as well I think I like that you know and every collage artist will approach their work in a very different way what interests me is forms and shapes and abstraction and transformation um, other collage artists you know they they work in different ways and the more you do it you know you will find out how you want to work with collage I mean it is a very exciting medium so if I'm happy with that which I think I am you will be using your scissors but as I said at this stage I can't use the scissors so I've got my cutting board which I place under the image oh and another thing that you always do as well before you cut you always just look on the other page because there might be an interesting image there as well but in this case there isn't really so I position my piece of paper that so once I'm happy with that then I go to cut it out well, that should be that you always look, once you've cut out an image, in this case it's not interesting, but you might be surprised what you find. So I'm happy with that as the body of the bird. So now we have to find legs and eyes that match. And um, as I was making the birds, I found some legs. And you might find legs that are interesting, but not for this particular bird, but for another one. So you cut them out and you save them. And here's a bunch of eyes that I find. You're looking for different sizes, different colors, different expressions almost. That's another little bird that I, I did as an experiment. So you keep them all together and then the more you do it, you know, you'll be able to mix and match your legs and your eyes. Then I put that down and I play around with it interesting looking eye there you can also play around with it coming outside of the frame so I'm happy with that eye so I'm going to leave that for a minute and do a further search for legs that's a really nice one but it's facing the wrong way and you can happily spend hours making new images out of materials which already exist in the world and that is one of the things I find so exciting about collage so I think I'm happy with those legs so I take a bit of hair and I'm kind of happy with that so again I'm going to cut out this hair and then there is my hair going to you see the corner of the lips there I think that could make a very interesting little beak and voila you have a quirky bird and now once we are happy we can glue the pieces down so what I'm using for this is a glue stick so let's get them glued down so I glue the back of this one little bit of glue and then again before you press down just make sure it's positioned properly because once it's down it's down and then press it down and the last thing to go is the beak and just position it lightly you can get this and just put some pressure over the whole image so that we know it's all glued down and there you have your very own quacky bird i hope you enjoy that now it's over to you so get creating remember in this workshop we made birds but as i mentioned before you can make anything inspired by nature insects flowers plants unicorn bees dragonflies snails you name it 
We are so looking forward to seeing your work. Remember to keep it A6, which is a quarter of your standard A4 paper, and write your name on the back and send your artwork to the following address. The lab, Dublin City Arts Office, Care of Illustrators, Ireland, 1 Foley Street, Mount Joy, Dublin 1, D O one W A O seven. Thank you for watching and do watch out for other workshops for members of Illustrators Ireland. If you've enjoyed this and you'd like to see more of my work, you can follow me on Instagram at Una Gildy. Thank you again and we cannot wait to see your artwork.